This is Serratus posterior, the longissimus, which you just have to know the name, and that's part of the erector spinae, as far as I understand. The rhomboidus major, rhomboidus minor, both of which together is the rhomboidus group. The trapezius muscle, deltoideus. Teres major, which is not part of the rotator cuff. Teres minor, infraspinatus, latissimus dorsi, which can also be seen around here. And then you have the iliosus group, the iliacus, and the psoas major, the quadratus lumborum, the levator ani, and we have the diaphragm here. The anterior most portion is the sternal border. The borders on the sides are costal for the costal cartilages. And the backmost border is the, vertebr the vertebral. And if we look at the diaphragm here, you can see this opening is the caval hiatus for the inferior vena cava. This is the esophageal hiatus for the esophagus. And the most posterior hiatus is the aortal. But you cannot see it on just a model of the diaphragm. To have a better idea, you need to put it inside the torso. And you can see that the, anterior, the aortic hiatus would be posterior to the esophageal hiatus.